Hello, uh, welcome in the preview of Svelte and Firebase The Complete Chorus. My name is Filip and I will be your instructor. First, let's take a look at the preview of the applications you are going to work on and later we'll talk about the requirements for this chorus. Let's begin. You can see already on your screens the application we are going to work on. This is actually second application. The application I want to show you first is Task Manager application which will be our first application, the basic one, where I will explain you basics of a world. So, very simple application. We have here a board on which we can create different lists and tasks. To create a list, we'll just create a button to, we'll click button to add list. This will create a new list. We can rename the list, we can remove the list, we can create a new, ta new task, very simple. So I can remove list, list two. I can rename list 3 to, let's say, to do. All right, I can close it, it will remain like this. I can change the task name, so let's say, learn svelte, closed, I'll rename this to cooking, and so on and so on. I can create multiple tasks, no issues in that. Okay, and when I will refresh my browser, also this will remain. So when I will refresh, you will see after refresh, the list will stay, still stay the same. And another, another feature that we can organize our items as we want, so we can move the items from one list to another. And on this application, you will learn the basics of a Svelte. Okay, so you will, lear you will learn how to create uh, this page, how to perform reactivity in Svelte, what are the reactive statements, reactive uh, declarations, stores, some template syntax as to use the if statements or each loops and so on. So this will be very basic application and actually very nice one to create different tasks. And now I will move to our second application where we'll be working on a social application. Okay, this application is available here. Okay, as you can see, both of the applications are deployed on, uh, on the internet, so they are available to see uh, to anybody. So that's our second application where we can create a glides. It's called Glider. We can create um, we can create our glides, which are messages, and we can communicate with other users on uh, this uh, on this platform. So what are the main features of this application? Is uh, we can log in and register. So well, for now, just log in with the user I already have. We'll be covering form validation, so you can see email is required. Also, when I will provide here password and I will log in and you can see also password is required so I need to provide both of them so I'll provide here my user that I already have all right okay or actually I will provide the wrong password you will see it will get error that, that, that such a user doesn't exist and also on these pop-ups or snack bars will be working by ourselves and most of the features are actually created by uh, will be created by us we'll not use we will not use many third-party libraries that's the that's the thing about this course not many dependencies. Now I'll log in, I'm logged in. There is a message, welcome back. And here I can create a uh, new new glides. So I'll write here, for example, hello world, and I will glide it and it will be added into the list. I can create a new message, for example, with the image. Let's say I'll put this image here. Uh, what a nice uh, view. All right, I will glide it. This will take a little bit longer because it's uploading the image to the Firebase and then the glide is added with this image. We can go to the inside of the inside of the glide and see that glide detail page and we can create a response to this uh, to this glide uh, let's say a very nice image okay and so on and so on i can go to the response of the response and i can create a new message here and i can chain it like this or nest it like this basically for as long i want okay and then i can go back all the way back to home page uh, we also create um, Model window, and through the model we can create these messages. So uh, my model uh, message glide it. Okay, then there is an option to see the profile. So if we want to see how many followers we have and how many users we are following, currently there are no users we can actually follow. So I will also preview this feature uh, right now. I'll log out with this user, and I will log in as a new user. So I'll go with the registration page i can click register you can see we need to validate all of our inputs we need to provide the values for all of our inputs so full name let's say fred uh, smith uh, nickname uh, freddy um, email fred 
at gmail.com. Avatar, I have already prepared the image for this. So here is the image link. Uh, password one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Password confirmation one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm providing the wrong password. You can see there is an issue. Uh, this form validation will also cover by ourselves. No third, no third party dependencies are involved here. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now the passwords are the same and I can register our FRED user. So after this will be done, the user has been registered and it's immediately logged in. Uh, we can also log out and we can try to log in the user back again. So FRED at gmail.com, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's log in and the user will be logged in. As you will see, there are no initial glides created for FRED user because FRED user doesn't follow any other users and that's why you cannot see any messages here. So when I will go to profile, I have here all the user in my applications I can follow. So as soon as I will start following Filippo user, I will follow this user. I have no in following. I will go to home page. I can start, I can see the messages of my Filippo user. When I will decide to follow maybe more users, so let's say Johnny user, follow Johnny user. I will also see in here images of, um, of Johnny somewhere down here, you see. And also, as you see, I didn't talk about it, that we are also covering pagination. So when I will scroll, will scrolling down here, we can paginate in the list and we can also paginate in the sub glide. So if I have some glide that has some multiple responses, I can click on the glide and the pagination will work as well in our sub glides, for example. And as in this one here, I can paginate here. Another very interesting feature is uh, real-time listening to the newly created glides. This I will preview on this. I will make this screen smaller. I will go with my other user on the right side here. So this is, this is my, uh, I think, uh, Johnny user and I'm following uh, Johnny. So I should be able to see the glides from Johnny. So I will try to write some new glides. Let's say glide one, I create it, glide two, glide three and as soon as i will create a new glide actually this is my this is my user i'm following so i create three glides and i don't see them on the left side because that's a user i'm not following this is my production user so what i need to do on the left side with my thread user i need to follow the user of this production user i will click follow and now i'm following production and i will see these glides on the left side but what i want to show you is when i create three glides one two Three, you will see now I can, the button has been displayed that we can read this new glide. So as soon as I will create three and more glides from the users I'm following, this button will be appearing and I will click this, these glides will appear up here. Okay, that's gonna be it from the practical presentation of these applications you are going to work on. There is tons of other features I didn't cover in uh, this preview. So. Be prepared for this. It's quite a longer course. There is lots of features uh, covered. Now about the requirements. In order to follow this course, you should have a basics in uh, JavaScript. Okay, so that's very important thing here. You need to know about uh, some things from the JavaScript. So basic stuff like what are the functions, what are the variables, what are the classes and, uh, and these things. Of course, you can follow the course even without this knowledge, but it will be more difficult, but you can always ask if, uh, if you need so. That's going to be it from this preview. I hope you like the applications you are going to work on and uh, I hope to see you around. Cheers.